Hey everybody, Allegra here. I am so excited to share with you the progress of our place here. And I'm gonna show you us building up our homestead, some of the chicken coop, the garden, and some other things that have happened around here. So I'm gonna go do a quick wardrobe change and then I will be right back. All right, everybody. As you can see, my transformation took a little bit longer this morning. I'm kind of rusty, I didn't sleep great. Uh, let's move to a different location now that the sun is beaten down here. Hold on, let's move. Okay, well, I have some notes here because a lot went down this week. So I'm going to refer to my handy dandy notes to guide us through what's going on with our building up the homestead. It's so exciting. What needs to get done and what we have been getting done is the chicken coop and the garden like ASAP because the chicken coop, we just need to get these birds out there. And then the garden, I don't have the fence up and there's rabbits and I have plants coming up. I have some broccoli and kale and beets and carrots and onions and there's bunnies out here now. So we're kind of in a hurry and since we have all of this work that needs to be done I've decided to instead of going on my morning walk out in the woods like I normally do I'm doing like speed gardening and speed chores in the morning and then pretty much all day long I'm just kind of picking up the pace a little bit I have to be careful I don't recommend people doing this because it could be super super dangerous let's go look at the status of the coop now it's coming along pretty nicely I'm very excited I still have a bunch of chicken wire that's kind of laying over the top and I'm going to be putting tar paper on the roof today. Right now I can let the little chicks in the coop area to run around while I'm there building. I have hardware cloth around the entire perimeter. I have a little bit left over so I'm going to add that to the chicken run and then as soon as possible I'm going to buy more hardware cloth to just wrap around the entire coop so we have so many predators around here mostly owls hawks bald eagles at any rate predators we all know that predators are really good at getting into coops i've already seen the big giant squirrels finagling their way into the coop the other morning i went out to work on the coop and I didn't even notice. I was out there for a few minutes and then I looked up and probably about 15 feet away from me was an owl and then it got something. I think it was a rat or a vole. I thought at first it might be a rabbit, but I think it was a rat because when it, it swooped down and picked it up and I couldn't get that part on video, but it flew into the forest and I saw the creature that it caught and it looked like about the size of a vole or a rat. We are finally getting the fence up around the garden. I'm almost done. The part that's going to take the longest is assembling the gates. I have two areas that I want to walk in and then down at the bottom part of the fence I want to line it with some more chicken wire because the main problem I have are rabbits but also deer. Deer are bad about my roses and uh, they will get other stuff in the garden but the rabbits will definitely get everything else that I like to grow in my garden. Unfortunately, I have had zero time for doing my art. I have my sketchbook next to me on the couch because at night my husband and I like to just sit down for half hour, 45 minutes and just kind of decompress from the day. And I always think I'm gonna sketch during that time and I'm just so tired, so actually let's scratch that notion i do have art available granted i did this art a few months ago but i sent it off to a professional frame shop to have it matted in archival quality matte frame so let's open it up i'm really excited these are two original pieces that i did of some owls here so let's see how they look. Okay, so I'll mat them here in just a second. So I made these a few months ago, 
but I haven't really featured them in my videos so much. Here's one. Um, I'll have to center that better, but these are the originals. And I don't know if you can see that. They're graphite drawings that I did of some owls around here. Barred owls. So that's one. Here is the second one. This is of a young barred owl that was up on the garden fence a couple years ago. And I got really, really close to it. So I was able to take some nice photographs and then work from the photograph. I like to combine memory with photographs so I'm not just copying from a flat surf or a flat image because I just don't think the the quality is as good. So I'll do a little bit of self-promotion here. These drawings are available on my website allegrarosebrown.com. So I need to make sure that these get well taken care of. As a matter of fact I'm going to put them back, make sure they're protected. I don't want to risk them getting blown around here. All right. So next, I would like to do a channel shout out. Now, this person goes way back for me. I mean, this is like an OG YouTuber. This person is somebody who's been doing YouTube for a very long time. I know him from years and years and years ago. And he is like one of the cool original YouTube channels. Like I would call him like a hobby channel. He just does kind of everything. He he does taste tests. He responds to a lot of people. Like he'll watch your video and say, "Ooh, I'm going to do that." If you make a sandwich, he's like, "Hey." And then he'll make that sandwich and shout out your channel. Or if you say, "Well, I like fried pickles." He'll be like, "Really?" And then he'll make a video about, "You know what? This person said I like fried pickles, so I'm going to make fried pickles for this person." And he just does that and he has a heart of gold, um, super genuine guy. Like, I don't know, I, I have a very special place in my heart for this particular YouTuber and the channel is Salty Shellback. I would say your name, but I can't quite remember if you actually say your name on your videos. So I'll just keep your anonymity. I don't know if you care too much, but Salty Shellback is the channel. If you're not subscribed to him already, you really should be. He's a lot of fun. And like I said, his his YouTube channel has got the style of kind of the old school YouTube feel. And it, it has never changed. It's always been the same. And I think that is just so cool. I just happened to make a video a couple weeks ago where we piled some pallets on our SUV and then we borrowed a truck and we got a bunch more pallets because we're hoarding pallets as much as possible. And he just said, oh, you need some ratchet straps. And I responded something along the line of, I used to have some ratchet straps a long time ago, but haven't had any. So he sends us ratchet straps. Didn't even ask for it. Super nice. Thank you. Very thoughtful. And then I mentioned at one point in one of his videos, his son sent him a bunch of international treats so i said something along the lines of international chocolates are the best because every time i've had chocolate from another country i've just liked them so much better so he sends my family a bunch of yummy treats and there are some chocolates in here i am very intrigued by these i'll show a some close-up of, of this so let's look at these a little bit um, this is totally gonna mess with my not eating sugar well okay like trying to cut down on sugar um, not loving the ingredients in this puppy but you know what they're fun so let's have some fun with these this one right here this is the one I'm gonna try now I'm looking at it I speak Russian, not very well, okay? I don't speak it great, but I do I do know some Russian. And I'm sounding this thing out. Um, Filipinski pudding. Filipinski pudding? Filipino pudding? With Kokosovim molokom. That is with... Uh, 
coconut milk, I guess. I guess that's coconut milk. That would make sense. I mean, it is coconut. Oh, Filipino pudding with coconut milk, literally. I, did, I swear I did not look at that. Okay, well, that's what we got here. What the heck is Filipino pudding with coconut milk? It sounds delicious, and I am going to have to try it. What are the I don't even want to know the ingredients. Let's try it. This looks delicious, and I don't care. I'm not sharing this one with anybody. Ooh, yummy. So let's look at this. Let's look at this international treat. Mmm. Doesn't that look yummy? Let's hold it against the colors of all the other treats. Okay, well, I'm going to try it. I probably should have brought my water out here. Mmm. It's crumbly, and it's a little too sweet for me, um, but it's good. It's yummy. Mm. Needs milk. Mm -hmm. Fun. Fun. Thank you, Salty Shellback. Oh, you know, I'll have to show off some of these. There's more. This is Biscuit Noya Pirojnoya. Dietsky souvenir. That means child, uh, like a kid souvenir. Fun. Japanese Nishiyama. Okay. <laughs> I've got to get away from this. <laughs> it's too much. So thanks again, Salty Shellback, and subscribe to his channel. Okay, everybody, that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to check my website at AllegraRoseBrown.com. I do a weekly blog along with my weekly video. And if I have time this week for another little extra video, I will try that. But let's just stick with the Friday videos. That's working out great for me. And I will see you all next Friday. Bye! Come